This story begins with the use of NASA technology used in space that is now being used to help cancer patients on Earth. A light technology developed by Ron Ignatius, founder and CEO of Quantum Devices in Barnabal, Wisconsin, was used for plant growth experiments in space. And it was quickly realized that this technology had medical applications. NASA funded a project with Quantum to develop a device that would be used in clinical trials for cancer patients undergoing chemotherapy and radiation. Mucositis are very painful sores that result in the, in the mouth and the throat after large doses of chemotherapy. How, how does your mouth feel today? It's very sore today. Okay. What about your throat? It's very sore. It hurts when I swallow. The clinical trials were performed at the University of Alabama Birmingham Hospital, the Children's Hospital of Birmingham, and the Children's Hospital of Wisconsin. The clinical trial proved that the device was successful in reducing the pain of, of chemotherapy and radiation in cancer patients. And Quantum Devices is now in the process of receiving FDA approval for the use of the device for cancer patients and other medical issues as well. The results were very exciting, and I have to say that this is the fastest accruing trial that we've ever seen. Everybody wanted to be part of that NASA trial. And so um, patients were um, randomized to either receive the light therapy or they got a sham or a placebo um, non-effectual therapy. And they got the therapy. It was applied to both cheeks and to the throat um, for several days following the chemotherapy. I see this as a win-win situation. First off, we have the situation where this therapy does not cause any harm. No side effects, no harm, so it's great for the patient in that aspect. The second is, is that if you decrease the mucositis, then there's a lot of potential areas where you're impacting positively for the patient. You can decrease pain, which means less narcotics. You can improve the amount of um, nutrition that they're able to take, less IV therapy. They don't have to be hooked up to the machines as much. And potentially, if you can get them off the narcotics faster and their mouths can heal faster, you may even, at some point in time, be able to um, see them getting out of the hospital faster, which definitely the patients like.